two top buttons simultaneously until it beeps. Okay, I press it again to zero at zero. Calibrate at zero. Now it's asking for 25. Cal 25 it says. Now I put 25 on. And I hit the top button. It says PS, pass, save. Take these off. Zero it. Top button to zero. I wait till it comes up with zeros. I start with point two. Add point five. Take the point two off. Read point five. I put a one on there. It reads one point five. I take the point five off. It reads one, two, three, four, five. These have to be exact all the way up to ten. Ten. 15, 20, 25, 30. 30.1 should bring errors. And I back down. 25, 20, 15. The last two fives I put over here. 10, 5. This isn't perfect. I recalibrate. Okay. And it is perfect the next time. 4, 3, Two, one, 1.5, 0.5, 0.7, 0.2, 0. All right, shift test, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds. All the readings were perfect. The scale is done. Just the CalPAR is all that's needed. Oh, okay. Other states, other requirements. I'm going to put the date, 6-2-16. I'm going to put my ID number, which is... Three zero five zero nine. You can use that number if you want, but then I get paid <laughs> instead of you. Okay? <laughs> This top zero button in. And look at this display here. It's going to give me a PC. P7, C6. P7, C6. Okay. P7, C6. So now I can take this off. Put that here. And more ass. Put a piece of tape so this doesn't get washed off. This anybody comes and messes with this scale, it's going to have a different electronic audit. And they're going to know it wasn't you. They're going to blame somebody else for mm. messing with the scale, not the installer. So it's just uh, cover yourself. Sure. So I just put that over the ink. Other than recording the serial number,